my poor baby. What mama's got for my little baby? Very much baby. Maya Topman trained as a nurse in her native Croatia, and these days she's putting those skills to good use. A makeshift refuge centre in Big Pine Key has become a vital lifeline for the area's unique wildlife, and things have never been busier. Yes, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, we, that's what I like. I don't like to go outside, I don't like to go here, I don't like, I'm happy with my animals, I'm happy here. They need me, you know. They're still alive. But in the last few months, Maya's refuge has been inundated with badly injured brown pelicans. At least a dozen of the birds have been found with sliced pouches, injuries that veterinarian Don Harris says are both deliberate and malicious. The horror in that is they don't want the birds just to die. They want them to die a slow, miserable death. So this is not just murder, it's torture and murder. Easy, buddy. Dr. Harris believes that fishermen, perhaps angry about pelicans stealing their catch, may be responsible. But despite a reward and growing concern, so far, no one has been caught or charged. I would like for them to turn themselves in so we could uh, put an end to this, uh, first and foremost. Uh, but, you know, if anything, we're out there looking for you. For the most part, pelicans in the Keys are deeply respected, but it's their sometimes frowned upon dependency that may be getting them in trouble. And what makes these beautiful birds especially vulnerable is their relationship with people. At gutting stations, they get a free meal and they show absolutely no fear, but that also makes them an easy target. But for pelicans that are found and treated, there's a good chance of survival once they're re-released. And as long as Maya lives here, the pelicans of the Florida Keys have a protector who it seems will never give up hope. I love you, babies. Oh, there he goes. Got a fish. Andy Gallica, Al Jazeera, Big Pine Key, Florida.